In this lesson, I'm just going to introduce some of the main key ideas and definitions that have to do with optimization problems or creating a model. We're not going to do any specific examples, but some of the language will come up uh, quite often here. So what we've done in previous sections, just so I can remind you, and this is most related to what we did in the last section, uh, we looked at solving or representing uh, word problems as a system of linear inequalities and as a solution set or a solution region. So it's an example of boats where a maximum of 10 boats can be made in a day that's called the constraint and at least two more fiberglass boats than aluminum boats and you can look at that lesson if you'd like to. Um, and we represented a solution region which is this green triangle here which is where there's a maximum of 10 boats made a day and at least two more fiberglass and aluminum boats. Uh, that's creating a model. We also looked at an example with mainsail and jib where there's no more than 80 percent of mainsail out and there's also more mainsail out than jib. And the solution region was this triangle here, where both of those constraints are um, satisfied. That's a solution region that represents all the possible combinations that would satisfy those constraints. We also looked at how to represent those as linear inequalities, and you could also create it with that if, with uh, those if you'd like to. Um, in this lesson, there's just one extra thing. We don't only want to create a system of linear inequalities. What we'd also like to do is have something that we're maximizing or minimizing. So within that solution region, uh, there are points or a point where you can get a maximum or a minimum to some sort of problem. Um, so the beginning part is going to be the same. So in this section, what we're going to be doing is, much like we've done before, creating a system of inequalities that represent uh, a solution of a problem. So word problems, creating a system that could represent a whole bunch of possible combinations. This system can then help in determining what combination of variables will create a maximum or minimum desired outcome. Now this is, this is going to be the new part is that some points in that solution region will, be, will represent a maximum or minimum to a desired outcome. I'll, I'll introduce that concept right now, but not actually get to a problem. Uh, to create the model for an optimization problem, the first three steps are things we've already done before. Define the variables and label the axes. Step two, write a system of inequalities to represent the constraints. Step three, graph the solution region. So basically take a word problem to graph the solution region that represents all of the possible combinations that satisfy the constraints. Step four is the new part. Uh, we're going to identify what must be optimized and write what's called an objective function. So there's going to be something that we're asked to maximize or minimize to represent the relationship between the variables and what is being optimized. Some keywords to look for. Uh, would be maximum or minimum. Another way would be, another words to look for would be least and greatest. These are uh, optimization type words, or you could look for words like maximized. It's not limited to these words, and minimized. Uh, some definitions, and then we'll I'll quickly introduce the problem we're going to get to in the next lesson. Uh, if you didn't know what a constraint was, a constraint is a limiting condition of the optimization problem being modeled, represented by a linear inequality. So if you need an example, an example of a constraint would be, <clears throat> there's two of them here, no more than 80% of the main sale out. Those are, that's a constraint, or, an, or more main sale out than jib. That's another constraint. So that's kind of what a constraint looks like in practical talk. Uh, secondly, an optimization problem is basically what we're going to get into. It's a problem where some quantity must be maximized or minimized by following a set of guidelines or constraints. And finally, the objective function will be in an optimization problem. It's an equation that represents the relationship between the two variables in the system and the quantity to be optimized. And finally, another word for solution region is feasible region. You may see that in your textbook, or if I use feasible region, that's exactly the same as a solution region for a system of linear inequalities. Now, the example we're going to get into, and we're going to investigate in the next lesson, is this one here. And let me just kind of introduce the different topics or the different words, uh, these three things here are all constraints. Okay, they're going to help us to create uh, the system of linear inequalities as well as the solution region. Uh, it's a toy company who's making vehicles. There's no more than 40 racing cars. That's a constraint. Um, there's no more than 60 sport utility vehicles. That's another constraint. And also the company can make 70 or more vehicles in a day. That's another constraint. Um, so those would be the constraints. If we read on, 
uh, it says it costs eight dollars to make a racing car and twelve dollars to make a sport utility vehicle it's not a constraint it's just a fact uh, there are many possible combinations of racing cars blah 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 and it says the company wants to know what combinations will result in minimum and maximum costs now that is the optimization language this is what they're trying to optimize is maximum minimize minimum cost and we'll talk about that in the next lesson that will have to do with something called the objective function which we'll investigate more uh, in the next lesson so if you'd like to look at that you can look at that now